Hello Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. This is Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you your daily Divine Masculine love reading for the day commencing Friday, April 9th, 2020. Hope everybody's doing well. We're going to go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm going to go ahead, roll the dice here, see what we need to shuffle the deck to. We have the number five. Some of you are dealing with the divine masculine that is either a Taurus or a Gemini. We have the number five again. Ooh, something about change. We got change coming up. There's already been conflict for a lot of you. Wow, the five, five, five today. I have never gotten that done. You guys, we got major change on the way. Fantastic. Um, a lot of you guys see um, 555 even on um, license plates, or you see it in phone numbers, or um, signs, or billboards, whatever the case may be. But we add the 5 plus the 5 plus the 5, that brings us to the number 15. 1 and 5 is 6. So 6 is about balance. Some of you divine feminines may be pregnant right now because the number 6 represents the symbolism of a person who could be pregnant. Or um, your divine masculine could be um, a life path number of 5 or the number 6 in there. Maybe even a life path one, you never know. But uh, just keep in mind that um, not all messages are going to resonate for every single divine masculine or divine feminine. However, uh, just know that air, earth, fire, and water, about 100% of the time, always comes up in my readings, okay? So, 555, five, five, that is incredible. Never had that happen before. I've been waiting for 777. <laughs> 777 and 888 to come up. I love those uh, two combinations of the succession of sevens and eights. Let's see what's up. So what I'm going to do is we're going we're gonna to roll. Oh, wait a minute. I can't even get my words out today. We're going to shuffle the deck to the number 60. <clears throat> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, <clears throat> and 60. Okay. This will be a three-card spread. I've been doing a three-card spread all week. So, ooh, you guys, six of cups. And I just added up those numbers to equal it to the number six. The five and the five and the five brings you to the number 15, which breaks it down to the number six. Here we are with the Six of Cups. Numbers are no joke, you guys. Somebody's returning, your Divine Masculine. They are thinking and reminiscing about the past right now. Some of you could have known your Divine Masculine counterpart since you were a child. Could have been preschool, kindergarten, grade school, middle school, high school sweethearts, crushes, long-term associations, business partnerships. Um, or this could be your Divine Masculine, you just know with every single fiber of your being Divine Feminine that you are indeed meant to be with this person. There's an energy here that, yes, somebody's going to return. They're going to bring an apology. Some of you will be getting flowers. But there's, you know, I see this as coming together. And for some of you, You'll be coming into union in the month of June. Could be possibly going in on a picnic. That's a lovely idea, isn't it? I love picnics. 
Especially, you know, you go outdoors, you find that one spot, that one spot out in nature, you know, um, to be able to connect. But there's an innocence. There's an innocence that is trying to make its way through this partnership, <clears throat> through this connection. So let's see what else is going on. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Page of Swords. Believe as a child believes. This is the energy I get off of this card. Now, the Page of Swords could represent some spine or observation. But there's wisdom and discernment coming in through the imagery of the owl. There could have been some clarity that hit your divine masculine up when we were in this past full moon in the sign of Libra. Some of you, while in quarantine, your divine masculine or you yourself, divine feminine, could be studying, researching, gaining this wisdom and insight. Because, again, we have a book here. We have the owl. Okay. Some of you will be receiving communication through social media, direct message, messenger, could be eh, Snapchat, I think would be very informal. I think straight up either a phone call or a text message would be more appropriate, but some of you will be getting communication through either Facebook or Instagram. Those are the two major social media platforms that I'm seeing, that or phone call or text. <clears throat> <clears throat> we'll see what the Page of Swords is bringing in because it is a messenger card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It could be that they are even watching or spying in on you from a distance. Divine Feminine. Even if you have them blocked. If you, if you really want to be with this person really truly want to be with them and you've blocked them, unblock them. Because there's an apology. There's an apology here. Coming in. And those of you, some of you do did not block. Some of you did not block your divine um, feminine or divine masculine, vice versa whatever role you feel you, whatever part you feel you play. <clears throat> Wheel of Fortune, major turn of events that are getting ready to kick in. I love it when the Wheel of Fortune comes up because this means we got forward movement. And it could also be too that the Divine Masculine, yeah, some of them, they got their karma. Because it is the what goes around comes around. Some of them thought the grass was greener on the other side, and it really wasn't. A lot of them didn't pay attention, obviously, to your intuition when you forewarned them about a lot of things. But see, with the Wheel of Fortune, it's about fate and destiny and what is meant to be. Whatever is written in the good book. Whatever is aligned within the stars. Okay? Wheel of Fortune, there's an abundance getting ready to kick in here. Fantastic energy. We'll see. Let's go ahead and clarify this energy here. Let's see what's up. Message from the Six of Cups, Archangel Michael. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And maybe... Some of you will be receiving communication from your Divine Masculine when Easter kicks in. Okay. Yeah, they are truly reminiscing because they're feeling a sense of lack. They're feeling the lack of your presence, Divine Feminine. They want to return back to the past in order to return back to the future. The future is the Wheel of Fortune. They're thinking up in their mind, you know, how times were good before all the drama kicked in. But I'm going to, I'm going to clarify this energy too, even though it's not a court card or a major arcana. I want to see what this lack is. 
Message from the Page of Swords. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. What is this? <laughs> yeah, get ready. There's a major return going to be coming in. Six of clubs. This is like the six of wands. Achievement. Recognition. Wanting to recognize you, Divine Feminine. They're going to be returning. And here we have another number six here. So it could be within the month of June. Okay? And look for the numbers. Look for the numbers. So they've been, a lot of them have been spying in on you to see where you're at in your life in order to figure out, I say, how to return. But I do feel that there's an energy. There's an energy that's going on between this page of swords and the six of clubs. I see some kind of movement here. Yes. But how are they going to do it? Message from the Wheel of Fortune. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay. All right, we have the Seven of Cups. I say that they're strategizing. Why? Because they're overwhelmed. There, so a lot of these Divine Masculines are still overwhelmed right now. There's a lot of confusion. There could be, you know, confusion going on in and around their environment as well. That could be also, too, the reason why for some of them, they got the what goes around comes around. Energy. Some of you are dealing with Aquarius, a Libra, Gemini, Aries, Aries, Leo, Sag, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I have all four elements. Like I said, about 100% of the time, I get all four elements. Water, air, fire, earth. Here we go. Seven of hearts. I'll see what they're confused about. I do feel that something happened. Something happened in their environment that had made them confused. They got their karma, but there's forward movement. I'm feeling there's a forward movement. Something's happening in between this page of swords and the six of clubs. Let's see what this five of diamonds is. One, two, three, four, five. Ah. Couple different messages. They want a new beginning. With the empress energy, they want to return back to their empress. That's one message. They want to return back to their empress. They want to grow. They want to expand. And like I said, some of you divine feminines out there are pregnant. For those of you who are female. And like I said, some of them could be communicating with you in and around Easter because, you know, you see the ducks. I get a lot of Easter feeling. Even though she's holding a cornucopia, this can also bring in, like, Thanksgiving energy as well. But I always get Easter or the spring. Something's on the grow here. They want to renew the relationship, a new beginning, rebirth the romance between the two of you because they've been going through some kind of lack, lack of, you know, whether it's lack in finances or I say really, you know what it is. It's lack in some of them. It's lack of family support because some of these divine masculines, family members destroyed the relationship <clears throat> and it could have been done by a mother figure. Some of you dealt with your divine masculines mother and for some of you, not for all of you, you guys, remember, these messages are general. That's the reason why you book personal readings. But some of them had mothers that were fake, fake to your face. Could have been father figures as well or... Um, Sisters, brothers, aunts, uncles, whatever. But I mostly get the mother energy. So yes, they do want to return back to their empress. They want to regrow the relationship. Some of them want to get you pregnant. For some of you. And grow a family. 
but some of you dealt with their mothers that interfered. They were, they were lying. Some of these mothers were lying to your face that they really liked you and when they really didn't. I, it's, it's a sad state of affairs for those of you who have been in that situation. But listen, that stuff is real and it does happen. It does happen. And for some of you, yeah, that could be a trigger moment. But listen, you get tough, you get tough, you get stronger. But there is also, too, with this Empress, there's a loving energy, a very nurturing energy. They also want to return back being very giving, very loving, very nurturing when they weren't before because they might have been catering to the confusion, and a lot of them were catering to toxic family members, toxic job situations, karmic girlfriends, karmic boyfriends, the whole enchilada. A lot of them were excessively drinking. A lot of them have been masked over by excessive marijuana far too much. Far too much marijuana. Marijuana is a sacred herb. It should not be abused. It should not be abused. But they were masked over by confusion, illusion, delusional energy. And that could be the reason why, like I said, somebody's getting their karma or did get their karma. And there was a what goes around comes around. Let's see here. Message from the Six of Clubs. One, two, three, four, five, and six. They're returning because they want their somewhere over the rainbow moment. Ten of Cups. It's right here, you guys. They're wanting to return. So how are they going to do this? So let's see what the energy is between if they've been spying on you. And for some of them, yeah, they have been. Some of you might even have YouTube channels and they watch you on YouTube. Let's see what's going on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and one, two, three, four, five, and six. Archangel Michael, what is how is this divine group of divine masculines? How are they, if they're spying, if they're observing observing from a distance, however they choose to? What is prompting them? Because I've got confusion, Archangel Michael. I've got confusion coming in through the seven of hearts. What is going to prompt these divine masculines to recognize their divine feminine to get to this over the rainbow ten of cups moment? What are they going to do? Well, they're going to come clean with the truth. Queen of swords. I think for some of them, they're going to miraculously, out of nowhere, show up at your house. That's what I keep seeing. Because this queen is at the house. They know they got to come forward with the truth. Message from the Empress. One, two, three. That tells me that somebody, this group of divine masculines, are just very bound and determined. Because there's really, in this middle column, <clears throat> in this middle column, there's no fear. There could be fear going on with five of diamonds. Some of these divine masculines, if they're dealing with a toxic mother figure that broke up your relationship, they're going to have to leave her out in the cold. They're going to have to. And... Honestly, for some of these divine masculines, I hate to say it, but it, it could end up being true, is that they're going to have to love some of these family members. If there were families, members that destroyed your relationship, divine feminine, they're going to have to love these people from a distance. Because if they don't, they're going to be caught up in the confusion, delusional energy, feeling overwhelmed, their energy being sapped. Some of these... 
family members are psychic vampires that overwhelmed your divine masculine. And the interesting part is that your divine masculine is super smart. They're intelligent. But they couldn't read. Some, for some of them, they couldn't see or read between the lines. Let's see what the Empress is bringing in. One, two, and three. What is she bringing in? Confusion. So, in some regard, not for all of you. Because remember, I pull, I pull various messages. Everybody's got a different story. All of you have many different layers, very intricate details of what happened and transpired between you, Divine Feminine, and your Divine Masculine. But they, for some of them, they will have to leave a mother figure behind and love that mother figure from a distance. Because if they don't, there's going to end up being nothing but confusion and delusion. They're going to have to. They're going to have to come with the truth. Some of them are, yes, overwhelmed about how to go about bringing this reconciliation. I think I'm dealing with a group of divine masculines in this energy that are kind of a little bit far behind. And it's like they're, they're, they're trying to catch up. Some there's been readings I've had where there, there's just a group of a wave of group of divine masculines that boom they know what they want now they've seen the light they had the spiritual awakening and some of them are going after their divine feminines boom but today a lot of confusing confusing energy one more message from the empress one two and three. Yeah, some of them, some of you, let me put it this way. This could represent a mother figure. But they also see you as wife, quote unquote, wife material, okay? Doesn't matter if you're a male or female or husband material, all right? Queen of Pentacles commands and demands full-blown out commitment. She's not going to settle for less than what she deserves. And the Divine Masculine knows this. They know it. They know it. But again, some of them had clingy mother figures. Clingy. I know that's going to sound like a trigger point for some of you that are dealing and battling with that bull crap. But the confusion's coming from some, for some of them, not for all of them. It could be also the karmic. All right. But they are missing you. Here we have all this beautiful motivation. Somebody's returning not once but twice. They're returning. They're trying to get back to what they had. And yes, for some of them, they do want to build a family. Look at that little girl. That little baby girl or little toddler. Okay? So girl or boy does not matter. But they, for some of them, they are wanting to build a family. They just don't. They're confused. They know they need to. Come forward, come clean with the truth. Some of them had horrible mothers. It's not about some of, you know, I don't know. How do I want to say this? It's not about the karmic's mother. No, the divine masculine's mother, mother or sister. Some of you had issues with sisters, with their sisters or their brothers. But all in general, what the Empress brings in is nurturing, love, devotion. They see you in their eyes as the Empress or the Emperor. Somebody who loves themselves completely, loves themselves first, love thyself first. 
And a lot of you divine feminines are standing in your power. Message from the Queen of Swords. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. What are they going to say? Boom! Power couple. Here we go. Energy is shifting. Emperor energy. Some of you are married to this divine masculine. Okay? You had a family. For some of you, already had a family. Some of you were already married, had a family, been in separation, or on the verge of divorce. Somebody knows that they need to level up, or they are in the position of leveling up, and if they don't do it fast, they're going to continuously get this bull crap. Seven of Cups. Seven of Hearts. It's both here. This is what it's all about. Twin Flame, Soulmate, 1111 Connection. What is fated and destined to be? They know they need to either man up or woman up. Bottom line. Message from the Emperor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13. That's why when I'm looking at my eyes are shifting over to the 555, the 555 that was rolled on the dice. I'm telling you guys, either you, you had the great conflict, you already had conflict. Now it's about great change. This great change coming in through the emperor. <clears throat> they want to have teamwork and collaboration. They Again, they want to recognize you. But see about this three of pentacles, guess what? There's no third party situation. There's only two people. Somebody's getting eliminated. Like I said, could be a karmic girlfriend, karmic boyfriend, toxic mother, father figure, aunt, un uncle, brother, sister, cousin, whatever. Drug addictions. Message from the Queen of Pentacles. One, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. Some of them will be arriving within two weeks. Two of Wands. Like I said, I felt like somebody's got, some of these Divine Masculines are going to be showing up at somebody's house. I was picking that energy up off of the Queen of Swords. She's at her house. Here's a house. Let's see what this Seven of Hearts is saying here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, they, they, some of them are going to be making a major decision here. Because we have the Star card. Some of you were dealing straight up with an Aquarius. I have all signs represented across the board. What is fated and destined to be? There is celestial help, celestial support that I say is trying to remove this confusion, delusional energy away from your divine masculine. Again, I said some of them could be have had a spiritual awakening or are getting ready to have a spiritual awakening. But you are, Divine Feminine, you are their superstar. You are what rocks their world. I just heard Michael Jackson in my head. You, uh, you rock my world, you know you did. Mm-hmm. This star card in Wheel of Fortune is going to mull over this bullcrap energy of the Seven of Hearts. And mull over their confusion. Because I was like, I was so confused. I was so confused. Well, you know, these divine masculines need to listen to their divine feminines. When it, it's like, <laughs> a lot of you forewarned. Hey, being forewarned, forewarned is forearmed. They thought they knew they were doing the right thing. They weren't. For some of them, they weren't they weren't doing it. Now they know. 
Now they know Divine Feminine. But they are being very reminiscent. They want this relationship to come back around the bend again. Wow. Huh. Just looked at the bottom of the deck. Four of Cups. Look at Somebody's arriving. Somebody is arriving at somebody's house. Here we are all up in quarantine. Could be happening in four days for some of you. Could be four weeks, maybe up to four months, but we are in the fourth month of the year. Because this person, and we could probably say, yeah, that's the divine feminine, divine masculine arriving. Yeah, it's been unsatisfactory. There's been a lot of unsatisfactory energy going on. Yeah, the world's dealing with a lot, right? We're all dealing with something that's unsatisfactory. But there's going to be some kind of renewed spirit. Faith and belief will be restored. To believe as a child believes. This child in this Page of Swords card has is fearless. There, this, this little girl in this card, she's not worried about the boogeyman. Okay? She's not, she's not worried about what could be behind her. Because this little girl has all the faith. So believing as a child believes. Let's see what else is up. Tell me more about the star. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. They are manifesting, and a lot of you divine feminines are manifesting. It's the witch card. It could be like the magician or the alchemist. All the tools, all the resources. It is about the law of attraction and your thoughts. Your thoughts are dictating your outcomes. What you think about, you bring about. Bottom line. Not, I know a lot of you don't believe that, but it's true. Your subconscious creates your reality. It's scientific. Thoughts are energy. And then your emotions... Fuel those thoughts. It gives it power. So Divine Masculine is manifesting here. They're trying to plan for victory. Some of you could be dealing straight up again with the Gemini. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. For strength and courage, sign of Leo. They're going to have the courage to come forward. Bottom line. They're going to have the courage. Some of them will be returning in the month of July or August and pulled from the bottom of the deck. Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment. Divine Feminine. Keep having faith and trust in your intuition. It could be some of these Divine Masculines have actually been watching tarot readings. Or some of you Divine Feminines are card readers. Or you do Reiki. Or you do some form of metaphysical line of work for some of you. Not all of you, but some of you do. Use your intuition. Do not disregard your intuition. And I say that they're getting the strength to trust their intuition to go after and have what is fate and destiny. The past is going to return. What goes around comes around. Look at, look at how powerful that energy is. Trust your faith, belief, your intuition, the thoughts that you see, your emotions, bringing back the past, what is meant to be. Okay. I love this card. Reminds me of me. <laughs> Some of you may be brunette. Some of you, not all of you. But either way, 
Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, thank you so much for the love and support of my channel. Remember, if you guys get me to 250 subscribers, I'll be able to do another one hour free reading drawing. I love doing free readings, you guys. I really do. I really do. And I made a commitment to myself with my channel that every time I hit 25 new subscribers, okay, um, then I pull for a free reading. Okay, so thank you so much, and um, you'll be hearing from me on Monday for another Divine Masculine Daily Love Reading. Take care.